every year they were like, okay, this could be the year that it breaks. Like, do you want to like hedge that bet? Or like, how long are you going to try to um, play chicken with your, <laughs> with your HVAC systems? This is our first house, so we were long-term renters. Um, my husband was in med school, and then we just, you know, lived on a small budget for a while, and finally got to the point where we were able to buy. And yeah, this was a great house. We knew eventually that the HVAC would need to be replaced, but we were trying to like put that off as long as we could because we knew it would be a big purchase. Over time, I think we're just keeping our ears open around like what companies are in town and who's doing that work around here and who are people using. Um, so to be honest, like Fire and Ice, um, we had seen them several times, you know, in, in like commercials or in flyers. So that was pretty easy to like when we were ready to start looking for someone, that was like one name that we were like, oh, we'll, we'll look at Fire and Ice. We went with Fire and Ice and one other, I don't remember the name of the other, but we, we just felt more comfortable with Fire and Ice. They just seemed to, like, you know, Luke was, was our guy that, that met with us and he just seemed very down to earth and very transparent in like explaining the different options and price points and kind of what we're looking for. He just was able to answer a lot of our questions and we didn't get that like, skeezy feeling that you sometimes get with salespeople and that was really important to us because um, you know I'm the one that tends to do more of the um, the boots on the ground like talking with with um, technicians and so I definitely wanted to feel comfortable that like he was explaining things in a way that I can understand and um, was being respectful and was being personable so I just remember that being again very like uh, well communicated about what to expect, again, about who would be there, about how long they would be there. Um, everybody was super respectful from everything from obviously like, you know, taking shoes off or putting the little like booties on, wearing masks. I don't know if we even had to wear masks at that time, but every time Fire and Ice has come, it's always also respectful during the era of COVID around that and around safety. Um, but yeah, everyone was very, everyone on the whole team was very personable, which um, isn't always the case. I remember that they, you know, for our air conditioning, um, the guy even like trimmed our bushes around the air conditioner so that, you know, we'd make sure not to like have them be too close. And so just like little things like that, even to be able to go out of the way to prevent future issues um, right at the time. Everything was cleaned up completely. Um, they they made sure to go over everything with me. Um, like right over here is our uh, thermostat. And so they spent time walking us through how to use that. Yeah, we don't have to have the heat set up very high either like we're able to have a comfortable living environment knowing that like you know the way that it's set up it's energy efficient um, and in the summertime yeah the air conditioning has been great so yeah we're living in a very nice like controlled temperature environment um, with a lot, of, a lot of changes inside which just makes it nice so there were things that obviously we were um, you know the price was important to us but also um, being energy efficient was important to us. We felt like we came to a good um, conclusion and Luke was a really big part of that because he, he was the one who knew the, the main differences between the, the different kinds of units and um, helped us just think through it and again was patient while we made that decision. And then, you know, I could, I could tell that he was um, like supportive of that decision. Again, I never felt like, oh, we really need to get the top of the top of the top. Um, you know, it, it was never that type of like pushiness or anything. It was really like, okay, what's right for you? Yeah, I agree. I think for what you've told me, this may makes the most sense so it was um, just comfortable and I could like trustworthy um, I think the most important is to pick a company that you can trust um, that you wouldn't have to then midstream change into a, using a different company because that is frustrating and feels like you're starting from ground zero like if one person installed it another person's coming and checking on it like it's so nice to have a consistency to have um, even familiar people that we might see um, more than once and to be able to just feel like um, we were able to make this investment with all also investing in the, the team at Fire and Ice.